I changed out this nutrient uh, a couple of weeks ago and I've added about four or five gallons of water to it and some hydrogen peroxide and uh, some additional nutrients. Other than that, that's about all the maintenance. And you can look, give you a little bit better look. A little bit of uh, just dirt off the root of a few of the plants that I put in there. Other than that, the water is, is pretty clear. PPM is running probably about a thousand, and uh, pH is running at six five. It takes about uh, six minutes for the uh, nutrients to gravity back into the container here. Uh, at that time, there'll be about a foot of uh, nutrients. I keep it basically about where that seam is. One of the other things that I experimented with was trying to keep, uh, trying to miss, and it didn't really work. Several different types of nozzles, and basically got everything wet. What I did try, though, that uh, had some success with this is screen on the back, the screen wire back here. I went ahead and just took a hose, sprayed it down, and wetted it, and it brought the temperature inside down uh, from 95 degrees down to about 91 degrees and stayed there for until it pretty much all evaporated, which took over a half an hour. The only thing of else that I've done is I added a, um, a sink, plumb this up. Uh, this is just a, a laundry tub. Bought this online from Home Depot. Didn't have it actually in the stores. It was about fifty dollars. By the time you get through putting the faucet on it and whatever, you're probably talking seventy-five or eighty dollars. Uh, makes for a nice nice addition uh, particularly when you have to clean up things like garlic that we just dug up so it's the final recap uh, that uh, benchmark plant cherry tomato plant that was planted uh, it was it's like it was 7.5 inches high when I moved it over here and planted it and it uh, that was on April the 10th so that's it for this weekend on Backyard Farming, Florida.